I was recently talking about the importance of proper code formatting and today I would like to uh, revisit that topic by showing you how to properly format your code with just one click. Hi, it's Philip from CodeCabinet.com. Recently I published a video talking about code formatting in Visual Basic and um, how important that is to make your code readable and maintainable. Back then I manually reformatted um, ugly code that, that was not properly formatted before. And I did that just by manually um, formatting the code in the editor and it took some time to, to get it right. And usually that is not a big problem because you um, are not supposed to write that ugly code in the first place. But sometimes you inherit code from other developers and um, that code is not properly formatted so you need to reformat it and that would actually take uh, quite some time if you would do that manually so today I would like to introduce you to two tools that uh, can format your code with just a single click here's the first tool we are going to look at today it's the smart indenter from office automation limited it's a free tool and it's actually from 2005 so it's more than 10 years old and um, the last version released is for office 2000 uh, to 2003 but that is actually the version we are going to use it still works in um, office 2013 and probably in office 2016 as well but I haven't tried that I downloaded that already so uh, no need to download and install we go right into the VBA development environment and now in the edit menu there's a new menu item smart indent and you can indent procedures whole modules or the whole project but before we do anything like that I would like to take a quick look at the indenting options this option dialog is actually genius because the minute you uh, change anything here the code in the text box changes um, according uh, to those settings you modified so you w it's really uh, what you see is what you get configuration that is pretty pretty good now um, most of the options should be uh, pretty self explaining so I'm not going to uh, go into every detail one thing I'm not entirely happy with is the force stop and debug column debug to column one you see debug print in uh, column one I would not like to have debug print there I would rather prefer it indented but I absolutely want to have a stop statement at column one so I think um, checking this option is the lesser of uh, two evils next one are the compiler directives these um, statements that define how the code is compiled and I think they are so uh, far and few in between and so important that um, that warrants to put them right into column one now the final thing I would point out here is the hotkey to activate the indentation it's control shift P for the procedure and control shift M for the whole module and yeah well that's what I want to uh, highlight here you can uh, play around with all the settings and find what's um, best for you there now I'm going to hit Control Shift P and you see in an instant the code is properly formatted or rather properly indented and it's looking pretty good 
there are some minor things that I personally do not like, um, like these uh, multi-line if statements. I would prefer the then statement to be uh, not indented. And um, this indentation was actually done with uh, spaces, not with a tab. But um, that is a really, really minor thing, considering that we are most frequently using the automatic indentation feature for um, kind of um, working on code from someone else or from the past that has not been uh, properly indented in the first place. So I think this is a very small price to pay. It's okay, though. So this is the second tool we want to look at today, MZ Tools. And it's actually not a single tool. It's a whole toolbox of tools. It is not free, but um, I guarantee you it's worth every penny of those uh, $63. We are going to the download page and we are downloading the MZ tools for VBA um, installer, this one. I've done that already, so uh, we don't need to do that now. We can uh, skip right over here to the VBA development environment. And here's a new menu, MZ Tools. And the indenter is actually um, in this submenu, Indent Lines. I could just click that to format the code, but I want to go to the options first. And first, I want to take a little look at the line indenting options. There are actually only two options. You can choose to um, to indent the compiler directive lines or to leave them unindented, what I would suggest to do. And this is just for line continuation. And that's something I would like to indent. That's everything. Not much, but um, it should be enough. Why we have the options? We switch back to the personal options and to keyboard shortcuts. And actually, this shortcut is not there by default. And I would absolutely suggest you create a keyboard shortcut for the line indenting feature. You just click the new button, select the... Um, indent lines item in that combo box and then you select a sensible shortcut one that i can easily memorize is Control alt i and confirm and that's it what we are going to do in the configuration and now i'm going to hit Control alt i and the code is indented once again um, that multi-line if statement here is not properly indented the way I like it, but, um, well, that's how it is. So, uh, that's basically it. Very, very simple feature, but very, very useful if you are um, working on code written by somebody else or written by yourself a long time ago when you did not pay attention to proper indenting. That's it with uh, coding for today. So that's it for today and I think there's not too much left to say. I just want to encourage you to check out either of the two tools I'm going to put the links down there into the info box and if you know another tool for indenting source code in VBA then I would love to see a comment from you in the, the comment section down there. Okay, bye bye, see you next time.